All right, welcome back. Yeah. Man, I forgot that this happened already. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, audio problems are a thing. <laughs> so what essentially happened was um, uh, we were recording using my new computer, and apparently um, when setting up the capture device, it didn't... Uh, do the settings correctly when you like uh create a new capture device it like fills all of the uh tracks automatically instead of uh keeping them to like what i originally had on my uh laptop so essentially the music was playing over our audio and it was you couldn't, uh. you couldn't hear us so it was, like, irredeemably fucked up. Yeah, and unfortunately there was really no easy way of, like, getting rid of that, and it's still sounding good. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. So, uh, I guess I didn't cut this part out, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> There we go. So, any comments on these uh, little creatures? Little pink, cre little pink fucking scorpions are flesh colored and disgusting. Yeah. They're hideous beasts. Any any other uh, further comments on those? Genuinely, I didn't notice how like they literally <laughs> they have like the little fucking white splash go around them. Hmm. When you kill them, they have, like, I didn't see that before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you wanna... Wanna hear my, uh, EU4 struggles? Yeah, go for it. Alright, so, I declared war on some guy up in the, like, the Horn of, uh, Africa. I think it was, You're like, playing Kilwa? Kilwa? Yeah. The, um, big, the big, the big, the big green guys on the, on the west coast, or the yeah. east coast. The long boy. The long, the long and winding road. Sure. Um, but yeah. So I declared war on, I think it was like War Singali. I get mm -hmm. like five minutes into the war and a giant stack of pretenders pops on my uh, um, capital. And um, essentially my king died, lost his stability, and then wow pretenders you could either choose to lose two stability to get one of these guys who are not good as your new king or get the guy who i originally had as the heir um who is much better and lose one stability instead mm -hmm. so naturally it was a uh lose lose whichever way i went so i had the pretty much postpone my war to deal with that issue. They end up taking my capital, and now I'm a, uh, an entire loan in debt. <laughs> well, that all you gotta do to get rid of that is just invade your neighbor, and it won't take any land. Eh. That's how you, that's how you win. Well, but here's the have. problem. This is sub-Saharan Africa. These this is uh, not the richest area in. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, go up to Ethiopia. They, they got gold up up in Ethiopia. They have money. They are my rival. They're currently my only rival. Although I think I can rival someone else now. Mm -hmm. So I'll need to like figure that out after this war is over. But yeah. No, that Portugal game I was playing was like fully irredeemable. Like there is no fucking way. <laughs> I, it was just you saw how, how would it look like where I was just fucking like hopping around the hopping around like taking stuff like scattered about. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I I got to a point where I was like shipping troops from like the Horn of Africa to like Spain, <laughs> like France, to like deal with rebels, and I was like, fuck this, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this for a whole game, and I quit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was only One of my 1500. favorite. 
One of my favorite things to do in EU4 is um, chain wars. So what you do is, you know, you, you fight a war and you either take the primary participant or the secondary participant as a vassal while someone else is declaring war on them. So you end up... Uh, you're at war with people who they're at war with to begin with. Yeah. So essentially, you're, you know, you're getting more... As an offender. Yeah. You're getting more as the, uh... As essentially the suzerain of whoever the vassal is. Mm. Um... I currently, I want to say, like, four vassals at the moment, maybe? But... You need to fuck, you need to get the fuck up the guy who did it. Who was that war to begin with? Yeah. No, I fucked up my game, like, desperately bad, because I, like, wanted to... I wanted to, like, get the issue where you have, uh... India, and... You have to have, to have, you have, to have territory on India, Africa, and... Indonesia before 1500. Oh, okay. So I got my by my I got my colony hopping up to like right by Madagascar, but it's not on Madagascar yet. Okay. So it's like that that literally that first like a colonizable province on the west coast or on the east coast. I mean. Okay. And I basically was like, okay, I could no CB. Uh, Maldives, and then just fabricate on Koti, Kati, and then have it, or it could quit. It's like, quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one I'm going for is the Freddie Mercury achievement, which is essentially as Kilwa owns Zanzibar and, I want to say, a province called Dhamma, maybe, in India. Right, uh, there was... There was... There was kilowatts with big achievements. Hmm. I didn't think they had. I forgot that they had one. Yeah, there. I think there's only one. But yeah, Rates it's not your nation. Yeah, there's a. I think that's really the only achievement Kilwa has. But I don't think it's an overly hard achievement. Just because of how weak everyone else is and how financially powerful. Uh, Kilwa is in comparison. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, sorry if we keep going off on uh, E4 tangents. Uh, so, um, this is. Uh, I have I literally have, I, I have exhausted my commentary. <laughs> exhausted my <laughs> commentary on, <laughs> on oh, uh, Zelda for right now. Yeah, like, what, what can I say about it? this guy's green? There he is. There's the fucking bats. It's not easy. Yeah. You break barrels, like... Honestly, I would say of all the Zelda games... Like, a lot of people say that Skyward Sword is, like, baby's first Zelda. But, I mean... With the controls being how they are, I feel like it's a lot harder than some people give it credit. Um, at least for a first timer, yeah. Story, plot, and like um, puzzles are nothing overly complex for Zelda standards. So in that regard, I would say yes. Uh, Skyward Sword is probably on the easier side. But if I mm. had to, if I had to give you like a good starting point for. Um, someone wanting to get into the Zelda series, I would actually say Wind Waker is probably your best start. Or is play Breath of the Wild like everyone else will? <laughs> well, I mean, if you want a different Zelda experience, then yes. Yeah, but yeah. If you want really, the traditional... It's like totally different. Yeah, it's... Like, it's not completely unrecognizable but there's a lot of difference from like the standard zelda format like with ocarina of time yeah Do those guys blow up 
clap, clap, clap. They blow up. Yeah. What was yeah. my, my thing? Like the fat guy blows up. Yeah. And I was like, what are those? What are those uh, robot things? What are they gonna be? And you're uh, like, I don't know. Sweet. I think at this point you were panicking about the electric, the electric man. Oh, this is where you try to jump and run. This is where I think that you, you up. Yeah. just get across. Yeah, it doesn't work. No. Then I sink into the sand. It is nice to, you know, actually be able to hear the music. Because normally when we record these things, um, we have the TV down so it's not picking up in the mic. Yeah. Well, I can't hear it right now. Oh, you can't? No, I don't think it comes up on mine. Yeah, interesting. I don't think you're streaming that sound with it, but... That's weird. I don't know why we uh, would stream the sound. Maybe I have it, I have it all. Oh, I have it like... Really? Oh, no, I hear it. Okay. Never mind. I had it like really low, like really, really low. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it still kind of is. Yeah, I mean, it's not an overly loud piece. I mean, it's a dungeon theme. Most dungeon themes aren't really, like, super lively. What was the actual sound in this game, though? Yeah. I can hear it. <laughs> Is this, uh... So you might be thinking, what are those little robot guys down there? Would I be thinking that? I don't know, maybe. You might. Why do you get the bomb? Can't you just, like, knock yourself into it and make it... I... yeah, probably. I think that's just sort of habit, though. Like, you see thing, you take bomb to it. Bomb blows mm -hmm. up. Everything turns good. Wow. Except for those, they're bad. So, these guys are essentially your Beamos of the game. They shoot the laser beam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unlike in other Zelda games, you can actually kill these guys. Um, unfortunately, Except you have you to... Shouldn't get hit. Yeah. You have to do the stabbing motion. Um, and these guys are... With the, uh, the controls, it can be a bit annoying with the stab. Aren't these things... These guys are, like, the first one, and they shoot, like... Blue, they shoot like rings, like mm -hmm. free rings. What do you mean? What are you talking about? These things are in the. I think they're in the. I remember them from the first Zelda, and they shoot like a little like ring, ring, like ring beam at you. They dance around. Oh, I think you're, you're thinking of whiz robes. I th maybe yes, I don't know. That's, what you're it's a very about. vague memory. <laughs> like, it was a fever dream. It kind of was. <laughs> That's not. There's no RAM space left for that one. For the original Zelda memories. Yeah, it's all uh, being taken up by um, ESP. Yeah, basically. No, actually, no. Because I don't know a thing, a damn thing about that class. <laughs> I only know I can do VLSI design. I know that. I really don't like these conveyor belts. How fast they are. It's gotta be. It's gotta be challenging. Oh, well, obviously. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Don't miss run, the... Link. Run. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> gotta go up there and get that chest. Oh, you're going to fall off. <laughs> I'm falling off there if you weren't careful. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. After I think that first one, do a lot better with these guys. <laughs> so, I know uh, I showed you that um, Wendy's meme. But the Wendy's roast. No, Wendy, I fucking hate the Wendy's Twitter. <laughs> you hate it because you 
Why do you hate it? Because I don't. Because it's a fucking giant corporation acting like a person. Oh, okay. That is. They, they post little funny memes and little cute memes, and then they're like. <laughs> and they. Just like, know. just like, just. Shut up! Like people, right? Like the people will share it, and it's like, Wendy's, dude, they're just like us. Like <laughs> Wendy's is just like us. You're right. They're human. Yeah. As a human and not a faceless organization with their memes sent through like a. Their jokes and their meme responses like filter through like an advertisement committee to like maximize PR. Well, they did a lot of them today, so I'm not entirely sure if they like how they decide what to send. I don't know. I I, I really really feel like it's like there 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 there's no way they just have like one person whose job it is to like do it. Probably. Maybe they do. I don't know. There has to be like they probably have like some kind of like PR. They have like the PR team and like they're everything's got to like go through like the committee to be like acceptable. <laughs> I bet so, before I send any tweet. It's all uh, yeah, PR. Uh, apparently today was the national roast day or something. I don't know. But Do they have roast beef? No, I don't think so. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, uh, apparently those spikes hurt you on contact, not just when you touch the, you know. Not even when you, that's when you touch the tip, not, not just the tip. Apparently they're hot. Very hot. That's how uh, they um hurt you. So when we originally recorded this, I thought they had, um, I thought they had the Nintendo's favorite boss as the boss yeah, for the, the giant, the giant, giant puffer fish. No, not the puffer fish. It's the Nintendo's favorite boss. Um, Nintendo's favorite boss is a giant, like, guy with giant hands. Uh. -oh. That is an Odyssey. It's also in uh, 64, Wind Waker, um, Galaxy, in a sense. A giant boulder guy that has the hands. Mm -hmm. He's in a lot of games, in a lot of different forms. Because you said, you said it wasn't an Odyssey. Crazy, I think you did. I can't remember, but he, yeah, he is in Odyssey. He's the giant um, head. Yeah, uh, he's got a he's in, a big Olmec head, and he's got yeah. yeah he, shoots the, he shoots the rockets, and you have to take possession of the rocket and punch him with his own hands. Yeah, and then he gets all scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. It's satisfying. <laughs> this is perfect. How you can just make solid contact with fist to face. Yeah. They did a very good job with that ball. I would rank that a 9 out of 10 boss fight. Big fan of it. Ooh, and then you got the uh, magic bar plug. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Everyone's uh, favorite weapon in um, Smash Bros. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, if you got a bad recovery, you uh you hate this weapon. Top ten worst weapons in in, in brawl. Yeah. Smash Pro Brawl. I think. I can't remember if he's in this game. I feel like he is. But I don't I know for sure he's in Wind Waker, and I think that's what if he's not in this game, then I think that's why I was uh, what I was thinking was the the guy in the Power of the Gods in Wind Waker. Maybe there's a maybe there's a puffer fish with big arms in this game, and you haven't found them yet. Have you ever uh, considered that possibility? 
Well, I mean, there's not necessarily a puffer fish. But there is a, uh, a squid monster thingy. Does he have big, big, big human arms that are buff? Not human arms, but, uh, tentacles. Well, I think they could have designed a better boss then, if that's the case. <laughs> Everybody expects that squid does have tentacles on them, so it's like, what's the point of even trying that? Oh, this is where you think you kill the two, all of them, but you don't. I think I killed two of them, at the very least. Isn't this like... Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's okay. I love the angel sound whenever you use the gust bellows. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, I think that was a five. Yep. And he's back. Out of my way. So I think the next two and a half episodes is this dungeon. This. Yeah, well, not necessarily this, but this dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Head and push this it's blue a biggie. Lock. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's a, a super long, long dungeon. dungeon. Like, I don't think any dungeon so far has taken us more than maybe two parts. Two and a half parts. Uh, Scorpion's pissed. It can't be killed like that. I know, but it... It'll just stay that way forever. I was hoping Internal that it would... Um, it would stop blowing up against the... ...wall and would just blow towards the floor. Yeah. But unfortunately that didn't happen, so... Uh, <laughs> ...had to... ...actually kill it. The poor little guy. Yeah. He would have been spared if his, if his positioning was slightly different. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Look, another room with more box pushing and sand blowing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I I do this, like, a few times where um, I push it towards the ladder, uh, thinking that I could just push it off. But unfortunately, you do have to push it over, which is more work. Go away. <laughs> They're so beautiful when they flop around. <laughs> weave and dodge. Weave and dodge, people. That's how you get rid of the bats. Oh, that's how you avoid having to fight them. You can pretty much just dodge every enemy in the game, can't you? Yeah. But, um, that's it for this episode. I think maybe. No, oh, nope. We still got uh, another minute. Um. I remember. Remember you kill. Remember you go. You go, you start looking to the right, and you end the episode. Yeah, yeah. I remember the exact scene. <laughs> the exact <laughs> frame that it happens. <laughs> That's good emails. Stop that. <laughs> My, my computer is dinging. Ew. I hate it when my computer dings at me. People are trying to email me or something, I don't know. It's just hate when people, method. like, try to contact you in any capacity. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> Why can't you just not? Yeah. Like, what What do you need me to do? Like, honestly, like, what do you, what do they need me for? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. I missed a half right. a point for not showing enough work. All right, uh, no, we're yeah, proof. Yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.